For the rich, famous, and single, a date probably includes at least a pricey dinner for two at some swanky bistro. But how much does it cost them to meet that special someone? Well, if you want a top dating concierge to make sure it's a perfect fit, try a whopping $150,000. You're about to go inside a world of high-end dating where they say the almighty buck can buy you love. Here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. The laughter. Absolutely, that's exactly right. The wine. That flirty touch. <laughs> they say money can't buy love, but it turns out for $150,000, you can buy your own personal Cupid. I'm a big romantic. So. Marcus John is just one of the successful single men and women willing to pay big to find the one by placing their love life in the hands of this woman. Kelleher International, this is Amber. Meet Amber Kelleher Andrews, a professional matchmaker whose clients are a who's who of the rich, powerful, and famous. She's been credited with matching Paula Abdul, Hoda Kotb, and Bodie Miller. We'll have some of the biggest uh, names in Wall Street, and then we have lots of movie stars down in LA. Depending upon whatever industry it is, we tend to have the biggest and the brightest. Do they worry about gold diggers? Not with us. When people have big names and they have a lot of reasons to be discreet, to come to Kelleher and us give them a gold digger, it just doesn't, it doesn't happen. 40% of single Americans say they go online to look for love, but Kelleher International says it's all about people matching people, not computers, an old school approach they've turned into a booming business. And an expensive one for Kelleher's top-of-the-line CEO club service, you'll shell out a cool six figures. $150,000 for a matchmaking service. I mean, on some level, aren't you embarrassed to ask for that much? Um, there's nothing embarrassing about um, putting value to what they're paying for. These people go out and they'll spend 250 on a car. You know, they'll go and spend $3 million on a house. Well, a lot of people might look at that and say, well, this is a guy who is paying for guaranteed action. It's not what these clients come for. They can get action on their own. They don't need to pay for action. They're paying for the relationship. Hi, it's Marcus. For some busy professionals, buying a chance at true love is money well spent. I'm on the road about 220, 250 days a year. Wow. So there isn't a lot of time in any one place. Marcus is a high-powered international sports marketing rep. By 9 o'clock in Sao Paulo. When he's not making big money deals, he's flying planes, racing motorcycles, and surfing. The man who has it all, except a woman to share it with. If I may, how much are you paying for this? It's not cheap, yeah. Um, but, you know, again, it's probably the most important piece in your life, ultimately, right? So, you know, can you put a price on love up? Probably not. So he's traveled to the swanky Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco to meet Amber the Matchmaker in person. Hi, Marcus. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. The, the primary things are family values, I think, is very important. It's just important because that's the nucleus of it all. Right. I have a strong faith. I think sharing is hugely important. You guys got to be just sharing buddies all day long. Marcus tells Amber his ideal life partner has strong faith and adventurous spirit and that he prefers women who hail from the Pacific Islands. Now that Amber knows what Marcus is looking for, she can search Kelleher's database of singles to try to zero in on a match. This is our own software. The computer database includes 30,000 eligible men and women. You can get really specific. You can get into height, you can get into weight, hair color, eye color. One name that immediately jumps out to us from the list, football star Terrell Owens. A lot of people watching this will say, are you kidding me, yeah. Terrell Owens? Come on, the guy could uh, have any woman he wants. She says famous athletes actually have a rough time meeting the right person. They're really good at like having maybe one night stands or having relationships here and there, but when it comes down to wanting a relationship, once they commit to that, they're really good about it because they really know how to commit to something. They're trained in that way. Amber says thousands of eager singles submit applications to be placed in her database every month. All right, so if she's close to your height, you're fine. The lucky few who are accepted pay far less than the top tier clients, but are still subject to extensive background research. One of the things that's different about us, we don't advertise that we're free for anyone. So we don't get the model types that just have kind of like that chip on their shoulder where they think they're beautiful and therefore they should get a rich guy. So the women that actually come to us, they're really curious about 
you know, how does this process work? I would really like to find a relationship. In her database, Maria Kepps catches Amber's eye as a possible match for Marcus. Hi, my name is Maria. I'm 34 and I work for a nonprofit called A Place Called Home in Los Angeles. <laughs> my mom's also confused why it's so hard for me to find a date. But despite Amber's background digging, my team finds these risque modeling pictures of Maria online. Amber immediately tells Marcus, but he is unfazed. Hello. Then still wants to keep his date with Maria. So nice to meet you. Hello, Maria. Hi. <laughs> My name is Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Are you hungry? <laughs> yes, let's go. Come. Unlike a lot of first dates, the chit chat starts flowing immediately. Do you go to the theater? Yes, I love it. Right away we notice the body language. Maria doesn't just push in closer, she touches Marcus on the arm, on the hand. She is not shy. We catch her hand wandering his direction 10 separate times in the first 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, you have the same bracelet? You're kidding me. Wow. Energy That's spooky, I tell you what. They even have the exact same bracelet on. One, two, three. It's all smiles as they wrap up. All right, there you go. Do you like a happy Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same one. After lunch, Amber wants more than just gossip. She wants detail. <laughs> Whatever you do, you're very good at it. We pull Marcus aside to get the lowdown before he has to catch a flight on business. How was it? It was fun. It was fun. I, we had a lot of um, things in common. You know, she's very sporty, uh, very spontaneous. Um, so it's a really fun, uh, you know, hour of, of a great meal and an hour of conversation, yeah. How often do you meet someone and it's just one thing after another that you have in common? Are you looking only for those elite, very successful guys? I'm looking for that personality um, is dauntless and passionate about life. There certainly doesn't appear to be any shortage of business. Amber claims to have an 80% success rate, including this happy couple. Seen here at their wedding, all credit, they say, to Amber and her team. <laughs> what do you mean, Bernie? Too soon to say what will happen with Marcus and Maria, but while money can't buy love, it can buy you a lot more dates. If it turns out they're not meant to be, Amber will be busy trying again. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in San Francisco. And Marcus and Maria tell us they have plans to go on a surfing vacation together in Portugal next month.